This is how you play. You have a grapple hook. If you press your grapple hook, you will be pulled directly towards the attach point. If you hold jump while you're swinging, you can swing the hook around. I'm holding jump and grapple at the same time. So that's the swinging hook. You can use that to go under maps and stuff. And you can use the air control in the air to move around with your A and D keys. Uh, there's also wall running in Blood Rails. If you hold the key, uh, you have to be going fast enough. If you hold the old key, for example, against the left wall, you will uh, wall run. And uh, it's pretty strong. You can go up the wall if you want. If you look up, you can go up the wall. Um, that takes a little use of just remember you have to be holding jump and the side key into the wall of the side that you're grinding. Um, you have two meters in blood rails, your energy meter and your shield meter. If you press the axe key and hold it down, it will power up your shield. When you let go, you get a shield that will protect you from a shot, and that meter will have to recharge again to use it again. Um, the other meter is for your rail gun, and if you hold down primary fire, it will charge up. And while it's charged up, it, it only lasts a second, but if you fire within that second when the gun is blinking, you will fire a curved rail. The curved rail will hit any target that you have swiped across, swiped across or across in that time window, even if the target goes behind cover. So it's sort of like a lock-on shot. Um, but if you don't fire it before that thinking period ends, then it will not fire the shot. So you have to do like this, and then swipe, your, swipe across your target, let go. Um, there are a lot of runes of power-ups in blood rails. This is one of them. When you pick them up, uh, this is one where you use your hook key to shoot bouncing projectiles that do damage or stay on the ground for AoE. Um, if you don't want to use it anymore, you can press the drop rune key or R to drop the rune and get it to grapple hook. Uh, basic mode is CTF, uh, flag, capture, repeat. And uh, that's pretty much Blood Rails. There's a lot of achievements um, for uh, stylish maneuvers, so uh, that's kind of a surprise, but you'll see in the console when you unlock uh, an achievement. Uh, we can sort of track those, and so we're going to offer anyone who uh, gets the most achievements or the most rare achievements a uh, t shirt today. We got one t shirt for Blood Rails to give away. So come play with us. We start at 5 p.m. QuakeCon time. And uh, we're playing on a couple servers. When you join, uh, you can see the servers here. Uh, so Texas is going to be the first choice for people at the venue. If you're joining remotely, uh, you can check Texas, but Denver is going to be having an overflow uh, with uh, some of our achievements. So good luck, have fun, and uh, remember that it's not about who gets the most frags, it's about who has the best style in this mod. Anyway, take care.